I became mayor, and so to see us to this point, to now where we're literally talking about the art component is just amazing. When we talk about the art, I was particular about this, and I know I shouldn't be picky as I'm looking over at some of my friends that have been on this journey with me, but I can't help myself. I'm a Provo girl, born and raised in Provo. This is so significant to myself and to the citizens. I wanted to be picky. So right out of the gate, only Provo artists. I wanted just the locals to be asked to do the art. And so that was what we asked. We said, if you're a local Provo artist, come and show us what you've got, and the mayor will and her team will come up with who wins and gets to put up art in our beautiful new airport terminal. And so we thought for sure we would love some stained glass because stained glass is just so creative and beautiful and um, it has so many moving pieces because it's just beautiful to look at but then the sun hits it. And, and so we walked through the building multiple times. I mean, I've been here when this was basically like a mosquito infested place. And then as the walls came up, it was in, I've been in it a bunch of times and now to this point, and here we thought this is the perfect place. This is where some beautiful, beautiful stained glass belongs because the sun hits, it'll throw the beautiful colors down into the entranceway, which was kind of a goal we were going for. Um, Jeannie has been so great to work with because we expressed we wanted to speak to who Provo is and what, is, what it looks like down here at the lake. I mean, this is just a beautiful piece of Provo and it has beautiful wildlife and all these different components and Jeannie worked her magic and <laughs> has just made an amazing display we're excited to share with you all. But before we do, I have to thank Danielle. I said, Danielle, do you have a title to snatch? She's like, I'm an engineer mayor. <laughs> I'm like, you are an artsy engineer because she's been tasked with managing this art that I, I've had this vision of having, this local artist art throughout the Provo Airport. So do you want to say anything, Danielle, and then we'll turn the time over to Jeannie? Sure. Yeah, I really enjoyed being part of this. I never thought I'd be part of something when it comes to art when I became an engineer. I just thought it'll be a design of a road, you know, that people <laughs> see sometime. But this has been such a unique experience for me, working with Jeannie and the other artists and seeing what can be created and going through the entire process with her from the design all the way to the finished project has been really just amazing. And Jeannie's just great, awesome person to work with. So I'm really happy that I could be here today. Okay, Jeannie, tell us everything. Everything. <laughs> well, this has been so fun. I am so grateful for um, the committee, for the mayor, uh, especially for Danielle, who has helped so much. My family and good friends, I mean, this has just been so exciting to do this. Uh, David and I started stained glass in 1983, and uh, I know some of you weren't born then. <laughs> but it's been a great ride, and we enjoy stained glass so much. And like the mayor was saying, stained glass is just, it's beautiful by itself, but then light is a member. <laughs> it's part of the stained glass and just having that light come through at any time of the day it just changes and we have noticed that you know on a on a cloudy day it's just as beautiful maybe even more beautiful than on a sunny day when the sun is just shining through so I, I love stained glass and um, and I love to teach others about it too. Stained glass is not a dead art. <laughs> and it's, it's beautiful and it keeps on being beautiful. It's not just for churches, it's for homes and libraries and yes, airports. And airports. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for giving me this opportunity. Oh, you're amazing and we feel really blessed and lucky that you are willing to work with us to do this. So, what do you think we should do now? So I think we definitely need Brian. Come on, Brian. Our friend. We're not going to unveil. Um, who, and Brian, is there anybody else that we ought to have up here? Isaac, for sure. Isaac, come on up. And, and Isaac is my deputy mayor, Isaac Paxman, who is a huge piece of this airport terminal. And Brian is our director of the airport. All right. So you put it up, Danielle, or 
Yeah, tell us what the, and watch out for flying clips. We heard that. Take an eye out. Please each grab a corner. Okay. Do you want to do both sides so you guys, the other two, Okay. okay. Let's all Mayor, do your hands yeah. out. We do a three, two, one, pull. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, pull. Oh, <laughs> There's plenty of it. <laughs> I can use hope any day. <laughs> and um, so I had to put that in there because she is a part of Utah Lake. Yes. <laughs> so beautiful. And every day is something magical. Like you say, the bird life. Blue herons, pelicans, sandhill cranes. It's just beautiful. Sometimes eagles. Yes, sometimes. <laughs>